Today we're surveying a 1920s style property, possibly built in the 50s, uh, 42 metres above sea level in a low flood risk area of London. It appears to be a probate sale, semi-occupied. The deceased lady's son was there and informed me that the heating system had stopped 18 months ago and that he almost never opens the windows certainly not in winter and at night. There has been a lot of work done to it in the past and the walls seem to be in reasonable order. There seems to be some form of French drain system around the property. Internally there's damp everywhere, including internal walls between the property and the neighbours and within the property. Although a majority of walls are damp up to about a metre, it does vary considerably. There's a ground floor bathroom installed in place of a bathroom upstairs. Clearly this was not the original plan and is part of the problem. There's a humidistat installed in the bathroom which was working while I was there. So that's a positive but it didn't seem to be drawing that much air. The timber, suspended timber flooring has been replaced with solid flooring. Uh, causing part of the problem as well as the plaster appears to be touching the solid floor. Rust can be seen on the radiator, a sure sign that there's excess humidity and that the radiators aren't operating. Uh, the kitchen, you can see a lot of mould growing in the kitchen. Uh, again, a sure sign that there's lack of ventilation, too much humidity. Uh, there's one passive vent blocked up, another left open. Here we're looking at the damp meter reading. It's high. Anything over 20-25 is considered damp, or at least it's full of salts. In this case we can be sure that it is damp because it looks damp. Uh, there's corrosion to the pipework, a sure sign of excess humidity. The floor is solid floor and we can see the plaster drawn down to the floor itself. Uh, that needs to be cut away. Mould, uh, here's uh, cavity wall insulation. Uh, some small cracks but nothing major considering. The heating system is no longer in operation, hasn't been for 18 months apparently. Here we can see patches of dampness as a sign of condensation and with the meter we're going to read the wall uh, very high where we can see the damp but uh, lower down it is dry getting towards the base where it's, it's damp. Uh, if it was rising damp it would be uniform uh, horizontal and you wouldn't have separated patches like this. The wood is a little bit damp in places but nothing major. There's no cause for concern with rot because it's suspended wooden floor has been replaced with solid floor. Mould upstairs again a sure sign of condensation. Uh, this room has two external walls so it's going to be colder and therefore condensation is going to form there first. Uh, there's fairly poor ventilation within the property. Uh, they've opened the window perhaps because they knew that a damp survey was taking place. On the whole has a lot of opportunity with large garden and space for expansion.